Nations Cup Summer Edition. My name is Jake. Today with me is Chando for the first time casting together in the casting booth. Uh, we have a pretty good game on our hands here. Uh, Germany versus Poland. Both teams uh, looking pretty strong. Uh, Germany having a lot of Premiership players on the roster. Uh, Poland kind of less so, but they did play quite a few seasons already. Uh, speaking about Nations Cup. But uh, what is on the line today, Chando? Do you know? Well, uh, we got a we got a really exciting best of three here uh, in one of the first round uh, playoff matches, as you say, between Poland and Germany. First map will be Gullywash, notorious for its stalemates. And uh, so, yeah, we could be looking at a long match here. Could also be looking at a roll if uh, if either team knows how to how to, how to play this map right. Uh, next, we're going to be moving on to, I do believe, Product, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, sorry, uh, Upward. Uh, and then Badwater to finish things off. Uh, as a <clears throat> decider, so yeah, we got we got a we got an interesting lineup of matches here, and uh, all the players almost in the server now. Let's go through the rosters. Take it take it away. Uh, well, definitely gonna start with Poland on the left side, blue uh, at the moment. It's gonna be Thazu, uh, usually a sniper, uh, might be playing a different class today. Uh, Ponton. a uh, friend of mine, definitely probably playing that heavy class. Keski, uh, Bonkers, probably doing that soldier work again. Ferryman, Tercio. Koal, Graba on the medic class, and then Tommy27 uh, rounding that off for the Polish team. Seems like a real good lineup there. And to uh, and and to contest them today, we're going to be seeing a Mars probably playing heavy. Uh, looking at tea time on the pyro, a Menti will either be playing soldier or demo. A Saga, uh, not sure what he's playing. He seems to be more of like an all-round player. Maybe we're looking at uh, him playing on engineer. Uh, a Sarge playing. Well, he's just left, but uh, he's probably playing Medic, perhaps. A Dreamy, probably playing Scout. Uh, Demato on Spy. Demilshman on Sniper. Ignis on Soldier, probably. And I think that's about it. Uh, so yeah, once again, like as as you were saying, a lot of a lot a lot of Premiership names there. Uh, one one player who's really caught my attention recently is Dreamy, who's really proved himself uh, very very strong in. Uh, game in scrims I've seen uh, with with uh, Failure Esports, he's been doing really well, and he is he is playing for them uh, next season. Uh, really strong player, and a lot of potential in that in in uh, him. Uh, any any big names you can see here? Uh, for Polish team, I mean, like I said, it's uh, Polish. Us Poland usually has a lot of uh, players that have been around the Premiership. Usually sixes. Uh, Halander Poland is not that huge. Graba is definitely one of the medics that's been around for a very long time. Uh, probably longer than I was on on a team, and uh, it looks like he's reprising the role of the medic for uh, the team. Just looking at the at the fixtures this week, uh, we already had England versus Lithuania. Uh, we had USA versus France, which uh, France did forfeit. Uh, we have Denmark and Austria already been played, and Italy versus Sweden. Um, this, of course, it is Poland versus Germany, uh, but we also are looking at Belgium versus Ukraine, Netherlands versus Hungary, and then Russia versus Norway that have not yet played. So, um, yeah, this is, like you said, it's the first uh, round of playoffs. Uh, next round is going to be quarterfinals, the semifinals and grand finals. So uh, we are getting closer and closer to the end of the cup. Hopefully you're going to see a uh, pretty good up. I mean, upsets here. Uh, we haven't, I think we did not have uh, a cup last year in Highlander. We had a Sixes Cup, but not in Highlander. Uh, so definitely this is a match that people have been waiting for the, the competition for about two years and and I know a few a few teams definitely are tried harding as much as they can some of them are a bit more raid laid back so we'll see the result of this game which team has prepared a little bit more absolutely and so there, there's certainly a lot to play for uh, as you say like these are pretty rare now these see, seeing a uh, Highlander Nations Cup so yeah, everything, everything played both from Poland and Germany. Uh, as we are probably going to be switching servers now. Everyone has just abandoned us, uh, so we'll try and sort that out. And your your predictions, though, maybe uh, Jake, who who are you siding with? I I assume Poland, but uh, <laughs> maybe maybe I'm wrong. Well, you know, Poland is always in my heart, and uh, I'll always root for them. Uh, however, in this game, 
I feel like Germany is going to take the upper hand uh, simply because they have a lot more seasoned players in Highlander. Uh, Poland can always resort just to pure DM. I did play a few seasons in Poland back in the day, and I've always been kind of like very DM set heavy uh, with just a little bit of uh, strategy sprinkled on top of it. However, with Germany, uh, you always have this kind of uh, team meti meticulously playing Highlander almost exclusively, uh, and that's how the team is built uh, and what's built around. So definitely, I'm not, I mean, not sure. I'm probably going to see a lot of really good plays for Poland, but in, um, in the end, Germany is going to have the upper hand in terms of teamwork. Absolutely. I've, I've, I'd have to agree with uh, maybe a Germany win there. Maybe a close game. I'd like to see a three-map match here. And I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hedge my best and say that Poland might have what it takes to win Gullywash. Uh, if their DMs are strong as you're saying, then you know this is this can be a map where you can, you know, uh, get some, get some good DM, get some good plays, and win a couple of rounds, and then just park the bus. It's very easy just to slow this map down. So we could be looking at that. If it comes down to cohesion, though, uh, just Germany certainly may have the upper hand on. Um, you know, they're going to be favoured in in the payload map. So the upward and bad water ones, I'm thinking we're going to see uh, see the wins for Germany, but maybe Poland will hopefully take this take this first map. So we're just waiting for the teams to finally settle on the server, restarting the map, getting all the players in as usual, as is custom for Highlander, pretty much what we've got used to for the past few years. I've been doing this and playing the game. <laughs> the game is always delayed by a little bit, so... Now we're going to have to wait for both Germany and Poland to finally settle down on what they want to do and which server they want to play. And we had a little bit of a hiccup there, but Wheat Hooves is giving us a heads up that the game is about to start shortly. So you guys are watching Poland versus Germany Nations Cup 2017. This is the first round of playoffs on Gallywash, Upward, and a decider on Badwater. My name is Jake. Today with me is Chando. Uh, so we'll be getting into the game very, very shortly. So, uh, more, more, more specifically, perhaps, uh, where are you thinking these these points are going to lay out? I, 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 do you think we're going to be looking at a five-zero roll here, or you know, maybe just uh, maybe just a couple of points uh, for each, uh, a couple of a couple of round points? Uh, well, you know, Gallywash has always been this map that goes into overtime or even longer, so at least 30 minutes is going to be spent on this map alone. Uh, Upward tends to be a little more one-sided, especially with a few change strategies in the season I've seen in uh, Highlander. Uh, definitely can be a little bit faster, but the, we can hear the announcer lady saying that we are getting ready to rock and roll. So once again, i uh, going to be looking at both teams rolling out. Let's see which demo man is first to the point. Go. Here, Menti is the demo man for Germany, Tercio for uh, Poland, going fairly similarly, a little, little different um, <laughs> rollout here. Tercio is the first uh, kill there to Dreamy. Dreamy following up on QQK and taking down Ferryman as well, so a nice triple there for the scout of Germany. Uh, Germany team is just rolling on the point, mowing down everyone who stands in their path. Mars is taking down two kills there uh, and going in. Middle point is going to be belonging to Germany very, very quickly. Yeah, that was really well played there. Uh, really nice aggression from Germany. Uh, Poland's going to try and send their soldier in for a force. He is going to get denied, though, uh, by the pyro. And that's going to be a full uber advantage now for Asaj as they push into the second point. They have got this easy. Uh, the Polish spy, Tommy27, coming in out of garage, maybe going for a play. Can he get this, though? Uh, he's just buying his time right for now as Germany pushes into lower lobby. Here comes Tommy27, trying to follow up on there. No one's really watching him. He does get caught out, though, by Saga, and he's going to have to back up before the Uber is about to be exchanged. There we go. Yeah, the Uber has been popped, moving in with the Heavy, leading the charge, trying to mow out everything in this bot right now. There's the Heavy there, Ponto taking a lot of the damage of the Devilman going in. Uh, three people on the point right now. The Pyro tried to save it, but Graba and Ferryman are not enough to stop this point in Germany. Well... You guys have it coming. That was a very good Blitzkrieg coming out of Germany. 
uh, showing their force and strength and just sheer ferocity. I mean, they took the first point and they just rolled into the last without any issues whatsoever. Grabba died as well, having that uber disadvantage. But here we go, next round going in. Uh, this time, it looks like Tercio is a little bit uh, faster to the point, taking quite a lot of damage there. But once again, falling down to Menti. Uh, Dreamy trying to take a few more kills here, but Thousand Day takes down Milchman and Dreamy as well. Nice double Ooh. kill there on the sniper. Triple kill on Menti. Um, Tazu is opening up so much space for Poland as they are moving under the first point and well, gonna cap it shortly. Incredible play there by Thazu, taking down the entire flank there. Oh, and a close play by Demeter, almost picks off Grabber. He is actually caught out though by Bonkers. But yeah, really incredible play there by Thazu. He's just able just to uh, pick down the German flank there. And they're gonna be able to just push nicely and comfortably into second. Uh, luckily, Asaj able to contest with his Uber, maybe looking to contest now actually. They don't want to give up second. The Uber is going to get popped out uh, and Grabber does lose a lot of players now. He is by himself getting followed up on. Uh, there he goes. Uh, his, his Pyro Ferry uh, also goes down and he's going to have to use his Uber on the demo who does come in just in time. Tertio now following up but he's n he, hasn't got the, he hasn't got the backup right now and he maybe isn't going to be able to take any space before he's forced to back out because the Germans and now eager to retake the second point there as Grabber goes down to tea time and Tertio gets sniped by Demilchman and this is looking very bad for Poland right now as they have lost all uh, all presence on the second point. Uh, quite right there, Asa is about to get his, uh, well, 50%, 50% uh, advantage over the other medic is nothing to uh, sniff at as they're moving to the choke point area here with the majority of their team force, Milchman taking down, well, trying to snipe someone, taking down the sentry gun from Koval, uh, Menti taking down Bonkers, that's no uh, dev, or there's no soldier for uh, the Polish team as uh, Germany is trying to force their way in, but uh, he didn't see their Menti, Fico, as he's just moving in, trying to take much, as much damage as possible, taking down Mars as well, Tercio is moving in, taking down T-Time, quite a lot of people dead, Asa is about to hit his 100%, but he's running away at 95 as the Grabba is only 50% uber charged. But they are pushing in dry onto the second point. They might be comfortably be able to take. There's a spy somewhere there. Tomato, no, he actually got caught out somewhere there, and uh, he's not able to stop it anytime soon. As the second point uh, from last uh, belongs to Poland now. Yeah, really well played there by Tertio. Just brilliant aggression, and when he was capping that point, just taking that high ground, complete denial, uh, giving his team a great deal amount of space as he's now. Pushing into river, taking all that space there, putting some spam out onto the sentry. Doesn't actually manage to take it down. Saga now building a level two there. Got a fairly decent hold here for Germany. But Poland now can sit fairly comfortably. Maybe you have to try and work on getting some some force or some advantage. Uh, we got Tommy trying to go for something, but he does get caught out by Mars. And now it's just going to be, it's going to slow down a little bit. We're going to see... Ponton actually getting sniped by the Milchman there that might uh, incentivize some aggression for the Germans. Yes, it does. As the German combo Menti and Mars now pushing into lobby. Actually managed to take down Bonkers and oh, but loads of picks coming down here. Uh, Dreamy, Demato, Menti all actually getting picked off. The zoo just going huge and looks like they're going to go for an exchange perhaps here. Uh, they're definitely getting ready to. Well, Milchman did pick off Tazu there and quite a lot of other players as uh, Grava is with 100% charge in the lobby area, still holding with the Polish team, but a lot of people dying on the way one by one for no reason here. Milchman on the third kill, uh, this one on Tommy, um, as uh, they are waiting for the reinforcements coming from back from spawn here. Uh, Asa still holding on 100% uber charge, he's not really threatened by the Polish team. There's a level 3 sentry on the other side, uh, so that might be a very difficult push for Poland to do anytime soon. They might be looking for some picks there, uh, Tommy has respawned he's trying to rejoin his team look for some picks but right now we're looking a little bit of a stalemate this is certainly no blitzkrieg as you predicted just just a moment ago jake and uh yeah this is this is very uh, typical of a gully wash map there you are just buying your time waiting for a pick putting uh effort put, put concentrating hills onto your snipers and your spies and trying to make something work here because neither team can really push off this the uh the attacking team will never be able to really secure anything without an advantage and the uh, defending team just can't risk pushing out uh, for fear of a back cap. So you've really got to be waiting for the right pick as Milchman goes down to a nice snipe there by Fazu. Uh, not really, maybe not going to be enough. Menti playing very aggressive in lobby there. Managed to pick off Ferry. Uh, Ignis, however, going down as well as the Uber does get popped out there onto, onto Tertio. No, no one else in Poland is, is following up. Tommy27 and whoever Q, QW... KWQ is <laughs> Q, 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 Q goes down as well and this is going to be a real bad push for Poland here as Germany now pushing into lobby uh, <laughs> oh and that is 
No, no, that was uh, both while trying to get a play there. He does actually manage to pick off Milstrom, but doesn't get uh, Menti there. As Germany now very eager to push this. Uber does get exchanged uh, only on Menti. I don't know where the rest of Germany are right now. Uh, Menti does take down Tertio, and the Uber is going to fade soon. There we go. That is good. That looks like that's going to be a fairly strong cap for the Germans. Uh, it was pretty decent. Uh, excellent Uber in management on the Asa. He was just holding it on to. He was holding on to that for a very long time. Uh, popped in the last second, but um, the Devil Man there, um, Menti, was a little bit overwhelmed. Didn't know who to pick directly, so it was kind of wasted there. But they did manage to push out from the spawn, got their second point secured uh, as they're slowly getting ready to push next. Graba is about to hit his 100% charge. They're waiting in uh, the choke right now with Azu being very aggressive, getting overheals. Uh, now they're getting spammed out by. Menti, he's a sole person holding it right now. Uh, Demoman just be getting popped on, losing quite a lot of health, but he is flashed perfectly as he just goes in trying to reclaim the point. But what a nice stab by Domato on Ponton. Uh, unfortunately, taking down the heavy slows down this offense coming out of Poland. And now Asa is gonna have to get his 100% uber charge. That was a nice hit on T time. No power for the next push uh, as they are slowly trying to get some more position. But looks like uh, Poland is about to give up, moving back to the choke point and hoping to, to uh, hold it as long as they can with Asa on 100%. Yeah, it looks like Poland's taking up quite a fair amount of space there. Menti is caught out and it's going to go down to a nice pipe there by Tertio. And maybe it's Asa just holding onto his Uber for now. In fact, oh, in fact, he actually died, I'm afraid. Oh, and a drop. Yes, he gets dropped there by a brilliant snipe there by Thazu. Uh, good Uber advantage for Grabber. Uh, looking very good for Poland. Yeah, definitely here, uh, Graba about to get his 100% charge, they're getting ready in the lobby, very aggressive spot right now, they're not afraid to go, uh, with Conton kind of leading the charge, trying to spy check for uh, for the rockets, getting quite a lot of damage on him, but he might be able to survive, no, not quite, as T-Time just goes in and finishes off the kill, and that's three people down for Poland next push, wasting that precious time, uh, Asa still have a massive disadvantage um, to Graba right now, but it might just not be enough time to uh, save them the last point, as uh, Poland is right now getting all the reinforcements they need they're looking at the river nice headshot on koa slowing them down even more that's no pyro for the next push but looks like poland wants to go in regardless only have tercio to help him out and the scout probably going underneath right now uber has been popped very early level three sentry is currently guarding the uh, last point a lot of spam going on the sentry alone but that uber charge has been completely stopped here scout tried to get a cap onto last but right now there's three people with the soldier devil man and the pyro holding it uh, and while well, another one stab here tommy actually taking down mars uh, a lot of exchange kills here by both teams but looks like asa's gonna get his 100 charge again uh, and once again well it's an excellent uh, uber management and uh, great play by the medic also a really good play there by the german pyro uh tea time real good denial on that uber well, we might be able to just bring you up to speed right now there's still stalemate going in the lobby area both medics are on 100 uber charge uh and both teams have full rosters up and running a lot of spam being exchanged right now bonkers taking down the sentry gun that might be the cue for poland to push in on the germany's position uh taking quite a lot of spam there from the soldier ignis doing quite a lot of work dreamy actually going down that's him unavailable for the next 15 seconds uh might be just enough to push in but uh, you know, they're going from the right now from the from the river area taking quite a lot of spam there as well Exchange with the, both demo and Tercio and Menti last point is currently being back up Ooh. by the spy taking quite a lot of uh, Damage there Milchman also dying. That's two down three down for Germany team uber half have been exchanged and there's, <laughs> What is that going on right now? Pazzo getting a collateral on to dreamy again uh, a lot of you dead people for Germany and looks like Poland is able to secure this well the first point in wow. this game equalizing it what a push there a really good play there by the polish spy tommy just uh focusing that point forcing the germans to play on that point and then tertio just uh, following up on that with a good uber just putting out tons of damage you had ponton playing on the back line with the high ground uh was able just to rain down that damage and hold a lot of space and yeah and the zoo following up as well all in all really good plays there by poland as we move on now one one as uh, midpoint has currently been open, both teams are looking to grab it for themselves. Uh, quite a lot of damage being exchanged, but not many kills. Only Saga going down to Tommy. Uh, but here Mars actually uh, trying to go in. Here Tommy, Kiku, uh, Kiku actually go, both going down here. Medic is right now grabbing 90% uber charge. Uh, losing his teammates right now, has to get out. 
It has to stay alive. Uh, Germany is just uh, forcing their way in. They don't have any medic, so might as well just do it. But medic Grava is on 100% uber charge. Only three people up for him right now. Uh, midpoint has been capped by Germans, uh, which will uh, accelerate the respawn rate. But uh, looks like Poland has taken the smart idea to just get out of there, uh, wait for the respawns, and well push when with the 100% uber charge advantage. Yeah, that was, a, that was a smart decision. Like Grabber didn't really want to contest that with a with a low player advantage, lose that lose that really important Uber there that he has. As it looks like they're getting ready to push back in. The Milchman though picks off Ponton, nicely done there. And Tertio is going to drop down by himself. By the looks of it, where's the follow up though? Uh, Tertio playing very aggressive here, uh, followed up by Ferry. You got Dreamy on the back line now. It looks like he's going to go for a pick on the medic there. Is he going to be able to get it? He is actually. And Dreamy though. Uh, yeah, wow. Actually, Poland all round getting a load of picks. A Sarge going down to the zoo. And it looks like this is going to be an easy cap now for Poland. As both medics did go down, but uh, player advantage prevailed and Poland is going to capture the middle point. Yeah, that, that exchange was very, very messy for both teams, but it uh, looks like Poland has prevailed and they are pushing on to the second point already. Not many people up for German Germany. Uh, Graba has already respawned. There is Ignis trying to do some major damage. Takes nice three rockets onto the demo man, but he survives with a sliver of health. Tercio is still up and running. Uh, second point has been capped, accelerating the respawns even faster. Uh, but there goes Germany on the back foot right now. 20% disadvantage. Uh, here Asa is uh, holding back there, Tomato taking down Kviko, uh, nice headshot there, or a body shot on the scout. Uh, but right now Poland once again, same situation from the last round, uh, holding into this lobby area, they decided whether to push through, through the river or the mid. Uh, Grab like about to get 100% uber charge, Asa only on 60. Do you think they're going to push with this, with this mild uber advantage or are they just going to slow down a bit now? I think they should, and they are doing it right now, going through the river, maybe flashing soldier and the moment immediately, yes, Asa needs 10%, they're going in, Asa is actually running away right now, no, he's still holding a lot of uh, damage done on the point, Dreamy Mars going down, quite a lot of people dead, but there goes Asa with the saving uber charge, flashing as many people as possible, oh, but the demo man's still going to die, Medic has been blasted Ooh. up and running, and Fazu taking down Asa, <laughs> what was that? The zoo there, just going absolutely huge and annihilating the combo who, uh, the German combo who counter Ubered onto the point there, took down Ferry and uh, Asajj on the post Uber there, and really just making the same mistakes as before were the Germans. They were they were getting baited onto the onto the point, and then for zoo and just like general damage was just doing its course. And you know, all so many German players concentrated into such a small area is never going to end well. Nope, it won't. Here, Tercio actually going down again. Milchman uh, making sure that he is uh, down there. Um, a lot of damage being exchanged here, a lot of kills as well. T time Dreamy down for the German team, but a lot more for Poland. Uh, here, Graba with Senifin sent charge in the garage area, overhealing Thazo. He is the anchor of the team, doing the most damage right now. Uh, but looks like Germany will be able to comfortably take this point, although Asa is about to, uh, well, die here. It took a lot of damage in that exchange, has his 100% uber charge. Poland missing quite a few players, waiting for the respawns up. Here Ponton is actually running away, uh, trying to look for his medic. Medic is still up and running in the top lobby. Um, ooh, and a nice headshot by Milchman uh, on Fiku once again. Milchman doing so much work both with Tazu. Uh, both teams are have very, very experienced and very good snipers. And <laughs> getting <laughs> locked up. there. Yeah, what he was locked there. there. That was really nice. Absolutely. Um, wow, really well contested there by Poland. Didn't expect them to actually put any fine to that. Thought they may just give up second there. So well played there. Absolutely. As an Uber exchange does come out there, not looking great though. They're getting very uh, blocked there by that is Tea Time now, who does take the Uber uh, onto him, and it doesn't look like it's going to go either way. As both Ubers were exchanged and no space was taken between them. Uh, you got uh, Ponton there trying to pull a little bit of damage down, but it's not going to be enough. Germany now more eager to follow up. I guess they are the round down, so they are the ones who are going to want to try and, you know, cause the aggression if possible. But no, actually, it's going to be Poland trying to get in here. Tertio caught out a bit as Grabber goes down. Ferry goes down as well. However, Thazu taking down Domato, and this isn't looking great for Poland, though. Tertio going to get up with the skin of his teeth. Saga goes down, though, and nonetheless, uh, it looks like the Poland's going to have to hold off on this one as Grabber only is respawning now. Asajj with 75% Uber. They're going to have to play this fairly passive or get a good pick onto Asajj if they want to hold this. 
they will be looking at it, taking the better position here. They do have the height advantage, but they're just up to out to hold fairly close to the choke. Uh, Asash is about to get his 100% uber charge, grab only on 35, uh, holding very quite aggressively there. Might be their downfall here, Ponton taking quite a bit of damage, but uh, it's still fine. Uh, Poland has decided to move to the top area, having that high advantage is very important next push here, a 50% only for Graba. A lot of spam being exchanged, Uber has not yet been popped by Asa, there's no need to, but they are slowly taking some ground here, Dreamy actually taking down Thazu. Uh, quite an important pick there, uh, no sniper, and there it goes, Ubercharge has been popped, being flashed around, uh, Demoman just jumping in, trying to take some picks, uh, getting one, two, no, he missed both, uh, onto the melee, Grabas taking, uh, getting away with 100% health and 100% Ubercharge, as uh, Germany is about to take second point, so uh, in the end, that push did work out, but Grabas is still up and running, and he still has that 100%. Yeah, that was a nice force there by, um, by the... Uh, bonkers! The, the Polish sniper managed to get a good uh, managed to get a good force onto the German medic and give Grabber the much needed uber advantage on this last hold here. Now uh, Assage building up to 60% and maybe going to have to be slowing it down again. Neither team has what has any advantage to push here. Going to have to be slowing it down. Uh, definitely Poland in the driving seat with a round advantage. Put for the next 11 minutes in theory, sit quite comfortably unless Germany you know pull something out pull something out of the hat. But um, otherwise. Poland doesn't really need to be pushing forward too much, you know. They, although that being said, they are going to actually use the, they are going to use their Uber straight away in under, uh, trying to put it on Ponton there. Uh, Tertia does go down to a mini sentry. T time going down. Ponton going down as well as the post Uber uh, comes out. Grabber does manage to escape with his life, uh, but not looking great now for Poland as Ponton and Tertia both fall down, and Germany just going to be walking in here, dreamy taking the charge here as the sentry right at the back is now going to have to get forced actually doing a really good job of distracting the germans and the respawn is going to come in now tertio up and about mars gets picked off by the zoo nice pick there saga going for the play on to grab it he gets away with 12 health just missing a snipe there by milshman there but it's but they're still fighting and finally finally germany is going to try and back out now ignis in river there uh, loosely holding it. Maybe he might want to go for a play here if he's feeling confident. Uh, no, he's not. He's going to actually get caught out by Bonkers, who does take him down there. Ferryman going down as well. Uh, Tertio getting stabbed, but it doesn't really matter. Poland going to be able to recapture this point as Mars and plenty others all fall down. Grabber now with a 100% uber advantage. This is looking really comfortable, but oh, the drop! Oh, no! What a drop that was! That was an amazing dropster by Tomato, uh, giving uh, their team quite a bit of a, uh, well, hand up there, as Grabber had 100% uber charge, and this time Poland were eyeing up that middle point, but after this amazing pick, I don't think they will be able to do that or even hold a second point as Germans are angry and moving forward right now through the garage, uh, going in very slowly but steadily. Uh, Asa is about to hit his 100% charge in about 30%, uh, taking very aggressive spots here with Asa, trying to get some picks there, trying to help his team as much as he can. Um, here the spy as well, Tommy27 is lurking about in the back line, trying to get a stab, no he gets caught out by the pyro here, unfortunately tea time is, um, well, up and running here. Uh, making sure the team doesn't get stabbed. Thazo taking down Milchman again, uh, opening up a lot of room for his team to roam. Uh, here, Tercio again, uh, slowly taking some more damage there, but there is an early pop, making sure there's no uh, sticky traps lying about, uh, but there's no demo map to follow it up, so they're just only taking down Kowal and his dispenser. Uh, moving up to the second point, actually, Thazo going down as well, Ferryman's going down as well. Uh, here, grab out about 100%, goes in with the demo man. Tercio is leading the charge, may be able to find the medic. Yes, he does, he finds uh, Menti instead. Uh, uh, Heavy is taking, doing so much damage here, taking them bonkers. Mars is eyeing up the demo man as well. Demo man surviving on the silver heaven, but that's not enough. As Saga is just going up from the behind and just shoots him once, and that's enough. Here, Grabats died in the last exchange, where Asa is only on set. Well, actually, all on 70% overcharge, and that might be looking very grim for Poland right now. Certainly, yeah. Big mistake to try and contest that. Maybe it would have been better to get the force there and just maybe play back with the with the Uber advantage as they did before, uh, rather than trying to contest there. Uh, as now, uh, Grabber losing his life in that exchange there. Asaj almost with his Uber again. Uh, there's no reason why they shouldn't push here. Uh, they they definitely need to. As the Uber does come out from River, Menti uh, taking taking the most of it. The Sentry goes down swiftly, and Menti's just going to be sticking up, sticking up point now, uh, trying to play that grab. Oh, nice snap there by, by by Tommy. Picks off Menti and Asaj there, and Poland 
really clawing this back now as only Mars Ignis and Demato remain and they are going to have to back out. Really good play there by Tommy who manages to get the core of that push and really just no space taken there. Really well played by Poland in, in denying they're very swiftly recapturing this. There's the zoo. There is the zoo and Ponton and the scout just going to swiftly cap this. Tertio however getting picked might slow him down a little bit but uh, playing with more or less even uber advantages now. Uh, Poland is in no uh, great hurry to try and push ahead. They are more than happy, more than content to slow this down a bit, Jake. Yeah, man, you do have to um, commend Graba on that vaccinator pick on last. He did switch the, uh, well, the medigun uh, for the vaccinator for a very short moment here. Nice Thaz Thazo pick on Saga, no engineer. Uh, but finishing on the thought, the vaccinator actually is what saved him the point. He was spreading that um, blast resistance around, uh, which, well, made his team uh, survive that whole push and, uh, well, basically saved. He went back to spawn and switched back to no normal medigun and about to hit his 100% charge. Asa on only on 80%. Uh, here, uh, Poland is holding very very closely to the choke uh, and right on the other side behind that very thin plank is a whole Germany team. If they decide to push in right now, no it's too late now, Asad has his 100%, we'll be able to save his team unless they get a drop on him, slowly moving into the choke here Poland, uh, Germany has spotted them uh, right now, waiting for the team to push in with uh, tea time being very close, a bit getting ready to uh, control them as much as they can uh, here. Uh, Terrace is putting a lot of damage, the Mato actually going down, I mean the Thaz, Thaz are going down to the Mato. Uh, no sniper, opening up a lot of room for Germany to roam about. A uh, lot of death spam here from Ponton, but uh, he is not too phased by that. As uh, well, both teams right now in a little bit of a stalemate and a little bit of a waiting game too. Yeah, definitely. But with only six minutes left, uh, if Germany wants to secure this victory, uh, they're gonna realistically they're gonna want to be thinking about getting something in the bag fairly soon. There, you see Milchman just trying to peek. Uh, trying to maybe just play his cards right, maybe get a good pick there. The Zoo also now playing this choke point. Tertio playing very aggressive as well. But ultimately, no one is committing to actually getting a kill there. The Uber is going to be used out by Germany first, though. Uh, on to Menti, getting denied there and actually getting caught out uh, by Ferry, who's doing a really good job of denying there. And now, with Menti down uh, and Demato as well, this is looking quite good for Poland to push this in. Uh, they have lost their flank, however, so they've got to be wary of that, uh, you know, uh, Big door more or less empty at the moment now as the this oh my lord everything okay everything's Ooh. changed uh, Germany just went absolutely huge that was a pop uh, of a conch there uh, really helping his team there they, you know they were they were really closed in together and that was just an insane uh, use of the conch there and it really shows you know how effective that weapon can be if used in the right circumstances that was all tea time there he was you know he was getting his flammenwerfer. And just going ham on it, and they just took down three people, and a nice two, I do believe. Um, that was uh, the shot of the flare gun, uh, finishing off the medic as well. And uh, making sure that Asa has a 10% charge right now. Grab all of 50. Uh, pull it on the back foot right now. They do have the positions, but the Uber charge has been popped here. Grab has the vaccinator again. Blast resistance up and running. Might be able to survive this. Uh, as they are currently holding this on the top area, uh, actually Ignis on very low health, getting spammed out. And unfortunately this uber charge push has been completely unsuccessful as a lot of people dead for the Germany team. Only Ignis, uh, Saga and Domato up and running. Uh, Asa actually t eating a rocket from bonkers. And right now Poland is reclaiming their second point. Uh, four minutes to go on this map alone. Poland is currently leading one point over Germany. Uh, it might be uh, a little bit late for Germany to do anything right now. Ooh, that was a nice... Well, try by Domato, whiffing that stab uh, onto the demo man, but um, there he goes. He still survives the main of running uh, right now, and Poland is holding second point, waiting for the Uber charge uh, to pop up. Uh, Sir Ignis in the back line, trying to do a lot of damage. Taking down uh, Kviku and Tommy27, uh, still alive somehow on 2 HP, finally getting <laughs> killed by Koa. Oh, he was doing a lot of their ma mess behind the enemy lines. Absolutely, and yeah, really a lot of pressure now for Germany to try and uh, claim this round. Uh, be about three minutes left. Uh, if they want to, they might be looking to say this to a golden cap as the flank pushes in, takes down Tertio and Grabber. This is just what they need now to try and make this 2 2 and possibly even a, two, a 3 2 if they can secure this correctly. They have got a huge advantage now. Asajj just getting his Uber and only Ponton, Tommy, and Ferry, and a few others up. And really not, not looking good for Poland right now. Um, playing. Maybe giving a little bit too much space to the German flank, and now Germany going to be pushing into lobby with a full Uber advantage. Now uh, we may be seeing Grabber on Vax. Yes, we are. Once again, it's worked twice, so you know, a third time's the charm, perhaps, and this is still going to work. Uh, as the Uber is popped out onto Dreamy, and 
not very effective, although the entire Polish uh, Polish combo has just backed into lobby. No one's even watching the point, and oh my god, Pont on there, and not really paying attention, does get, uh, and they just get rushed, and there goes the round two Germany in the nick of time, and then he, two minutes left, more or less. Yeah, that was a really good idea there by Grava once again, but unfortunately they got a little bit lost there in the lobby and uh, left the point unguarded. Uh, Germany has abused that and uh, well got themselves a second point in this game, making it 2-2. Two, two, two. As both Demoman right now going onto the point, uh, Scout as well here, uh, Dreamy going all the way back line. Vazo taking down Menti, what a nice kill there, but getting, comp uh, well right now Milchman taking a uh, retaliation kill on Ponton. Uh, right now both teams are looking for more spam, but it seems Ooh. like Poland is winning uh, as they are completely annihilating the enemy team here. Thousand taking down uh, Medic as well, only Mars up right now. And you could say that was a complete team win as Mars just spawned in his... Well, he's just waiting for his teammates as there's no one else alive on this team and Poland will be able to take the second point very quickly. Uh, yes, with only 1 minute 30 left, Poland has got every reason just to be pushing straight into here, not waiting around at all. Um, if they can secure this round, this puts them in the absolute driving seat for upward and for Badwater. They've got a huge advantage right now, ready to push in. I don't know, they, they really have got no reason not to be waiting around here as they push a little bit into lobby now. You've got Tertio now playing in river and going to be followed up by his team. The zoo, however, going down to Ignis, um, they might just have to go with it. You know, they have this uber advantage. There's no reason not to play it right now. 50 seconds left. Yeah, Ignis Uber has for. been popped here. Uber has been popped, and they're going <laughs> in, but they're dropping Ponton there to Milchman. Uh, trying to do as much damage. They're essentially going down. Uh, Engineer in very low health here. Pyro is trying to do as much work. Ferryman is walking on the point, trying to burn the other Pyro as well. They get a lot of damage, but it's not going to be enough. A lot of people dead in this push here. Only four people up. Grabba is down as well. And now got about to hit his 100% Uber charge. It looks like Germany will <gasps> be able. Tommy! Oh, Tommy 27. Oh, but the follow up again as a ferry. Oh, but he, he, oh, he gets the Uber, but almost <laughs> so nearly that follow up. And now it just looks like uh, everything they play for the zoo actually getting a lot of uh, 10 seconds left. Tertiary is just going to walk in there, gets picked off quickly by Tomato. Ponton going to follow up as well. Uh, everyone's just getting picked off now. It doesn't matter though. Uh, maybe just going for the kills there. You know, may as well go for that play as well. Um, but not enough. Very close. Very well played by the Germans there. Good defense. Uh, good denial. Uh, but also some good plays by uh, on the flank by the Polish. Uh, you saw Tommy get a lot of cap time on there. Ferry trying to follow up as well. Does manage to get the get the Uber exchange, but doesn't get the cap point. And that is 2-2. Going to go into a golden cap round now. Taking out the logs right now. Yeah, just getting a little bit of a heads up from Wheat Hoops, who is on camera with us today. And... Uh, well, obviously, no big surprise here. Thazu leading with a massive 45 kill um, <laughs> kill streak here. I mean, 45 kills. Second place, ladies and gentlemen, is dreaming with 26. That's 19 kills more than the second place, 18 of which were on Milchman alone. Oh, wow. <laughs> 45 to 14. That is incredible. Place by, by Thazu. Um, really. Holding his own there and absolute carrier of the Polish there. Um, Tertio also getting some good damage in at 450 DPM um, compared to Menti's 385, showing good signs of damage from Tertio. He took a lot of hills as well from what I from what I saw in game, and he took and he was definitely in the driving seat of most pushes there. So I'm not surprised that he also got a lot of damage, but even still, well played there. And um, other than other than um, the zoo though. Fairly, fairly, um, you know, close logs. There was no real sort of DM uh, superiority there, would you say, Jake? Well, Fazo definitely being the uh, driving force of Polish team right now. I mean, there's no doubts about that. He was going absolutely mental, taking a dub double or triple kills there. And, uh, well, he is earning his name right now. Milchman is on the back foot, and he's really not really sure... Well, not really sure what he's he, he can do about him. He's getting constant over heals, and uh, speaking of heals right now, Asa uh, definitely seems to be preferring Mars as his anchor. Ar Mars is taking a lot of punishment, but he survives a lot of it thanks to Asa, whereas 
because uh, Graba is kind of spreading heals evenly between Tercio, Ponton, uh, Bonkers, and Fermin taking the fourth, third and fourth spot. But we are waiting right now for both teams to ready up, uh, getting a, a heads up from Wheat Hoof that we are going to Golden Cap in about, well, 70 seconds. Uh, and once again, we'll be probably watching Thazo again. I mean, this map is very sniper friendly and he's utilizing whatever he can do to help his team. However, Poland and Germany right now, two to two. Could be anyone's game. Absolutely, as we uh, as we prepare for the golden cap of the first round of Poland versus Germany in the uh, in the first stage of the Highlander Nations Cup playoffs, and uh, yeah, really, really getting straight in there. Really good first round through from both teams. Very exciting to see how this is going to progress. Uh, yeah, we're getting ready, ladies, telling us that we are ready to go for the Golden Cup as both teams and the respective spawns waiting for the gates to go down. Uh, we're looking at Tercio and uh, Menti once again. Uh, Tercio usually was a little bit faster, but didn't work out in his, in his favor as he was getting spammed out by Dreamy as well. And this time is a bit slower. Uh, Menti definitely taking the upper hand here with Dreamy, uh, helping him out. Quite a lot of spamming has changed there back and forth. None of the player team, team players has yet died. Uh, looks like Germany gonna take the upper ground here with uh, Tertio a little bit on the on the lower ground taking uh, well right now getting cleaned up by Milchman Domato is moving in right now fast going down as well to Mars uh, surprise heavy from behind did not see that one coming as uh, Poland is a little bit on the back foot right now Grava is still up and running uh, still has that almost 100% uber charge as well as Asa but looks like Germany will be looking to push immediately right after quite a lot of damage they're done by the, the, the soldier here bonkers uh, spamming some rockets there, but it's not enough. Uber has been popped defensively first, and that means uh, Germany will have a little bit better Uber there. Flashing the demo man, Menti maybe just jumping in forward, but no, they're actually taking the second um, point without any contestion coming out of Polish team. Yeah, they uh, they basically had no the uh, Poland basically having no uh, space taken on the mid fight, uh, forced to back out, play second, get a get got a got forced, I do believe, or had to pop defensively. Uh, either way had that massive uber disadvantage in the exchange there and they had really no option but to back out there germany was just taking so much space space both both from big doors and from choke and now you know grabber managing to survive is going to hold on to his uber but uh, he's gonna have to really you know poland gonna have to pull something out of the hat to try and uh push out here uh, either either a good few picks or a failed push from germany uh, is gonna be what it takes for poland to stock stockler in this back yeah, but look at this. Germany is actually not showing where they want to push from. They're holding in the garage very far back, waiting for Poland to make any sort of mistake. The Meta right now just scanning for his team and making sure everyone knows where people are right now. Near the dispenser, getting spotted by a Federman. None of that will happen anymore. As getting chased down and out uh, by the Polish team here. Uh, both medics on 100% uber charge, both medics waiting for the other team to do something. This is the golden cap, so one point could, uh, well, mean one point in terms of maps. And that's uh, kind of kind of significant. There's no more, uh, you know, second chances here. Um, it's both medics. Well, both teams just waiting for the other team to make the first move. And it's uh, just a waiting game at this point with both spies trying to search for the teammates here. Tommy is actually a bit lost looking for enemies, but he can't find any. No one's in the lobby, no one's in the upper lobby either. Uh, it's just a few rockets being spammed out, but that's uh, that's just about it. The uh, whole Germany team is still holding in the garage, uh, with Bonkers finally finding them. Uh, putting out some spam there, getting caught, caught out by Mars! No, yes, yes, Ooh. he gets caught out, and that's finally a kill uh, in the last about minute. Uh, Germany is still not eager to push. Absolutely not. I mean, they still have that advantage. All they got to do is wait for Poland to make one mistake, and then effectively they can secure this first map and playing very far back i assume just waiting for the right pick i think they're putting all of their hope on Demato currently he's the only player that seems to be actually you know going in and doing stuff the rest of the team sitting really far back in uh in big door and you know this is this is a fairly uh well thought out strat here i suppose you know they've got you know, their sniper just keeping an eye on the point, you know, make, uh, the second point, making sure that you know, Poland have got no chance of re-pushing out here. Although, you know, there are some signs of aggression here. You've got Bonkers playing fairly aggressive up in River. Um, and now Tertio, the zoo, starting to put a little bit of sidelines into uh, the lobby point. As Domato and Dreamy actually both go down, uh, 
Not sure how I Lee wasn't Q. Really Yeah, there's that. quite a lot of people up uh, right now in the lobby. Poland has decided finally to make a move. And, you know, just for the sake of the past two minutes of the game, can I get some resident sleepers in the chat? Because that <laughs> definitely was the situation for that. Even the chat in-game, which you guys don't see, uh, they're kind of like asking each other to push first, and none of them would. <laughs> so for the past three minutes, we've just been looking both teams waiting for the other to make a, a mistake. Your Thaza taking out Ignis, but, you know, apart from like a singular or double kill, they're somewhere uh, near of the teams decided to push, but their tomato goes and <laughs> stabs Tercio. I thought... And that might be just it as well. Poland is still quite aggressive up there. Medic still holding with his team. Graba is uh, hanging out with uh, Ferryman next to the dispenser. Uh, and still, Stalman has been prevailed here. Tommy getting mowed down by Mars. Two people down for Polish team. And the Ubercharge has been popped by getting completely annihilated there. Uh, pushed away by uh, Ferryman. He's still chasing the people up. And actually, uh, <laughs> Kriegel getting punched in the face by Mars. <laughs> <laughs> on the way out. I wow. uh, did not expect that to happen, but look at this. Grab actually going down to a shotgun from Saga, uh, which means no medic, and Asa might have the advantage, but only three people up for Germany, and they're still holding in that garage, uh, building that Uber charge. It looks like Poland will decide, just keep, still keep holding on the last point. Absolutely. I mean, that 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 Uber charge for Asa is crucial now. Maybe they can just push straight in there, but Poland seems to be quite eager to actually just secure this point before Grabba, uh, before Asaj, sorry, gets the his Uber. And they, they are just basically able. just capping this point. Like, what is going they on? They like... actually did it! <laughs> they did not, Germany did not put too much attention to the point, and now it's just Piku on the point itself, backcapping it essentially, with the whole point just getting ignored by Germany's team. Yeah, uh, but it's not gonna matter as, uh, as the Polish scout gets destroyed, and now they're just going to be recapturing it, and I guess they can just sit back to doing whatever they want, and now actually with a huge player disadvantage, Asajj now going to be using his Uber straight in there, um, wow, not looking great currently for Poland, however, the Vax comes out, isn't going to be enough, Mars just going absolutely huge, getting loads and loads of damage out there, Poland playing on the point, tea time goes down, the cap, the, the, the point is very closely capped at the moment, but it isn't going to be enough, Germany gonna have to back out. Uh, they lost a lot of good players there, and you know some 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 goods. A, a, a decent exchange, but well defended by Poland. That Vax very hard to counter unless you really have the good cohesion. Which um, uh, to to put it bluntly, I don't think most high, I don't think no, most nation teams really have the cohesion uh, due to them not really playing together that much. Here, Poland once again on the back foot, he's still holding on the point, and there he goes! Oh, what? what? What an MVP of the game! He Six. goes and back caps it without <sighs> anyone noticing! First point, surprisingly enough, goes for, well, to Germany, and that was all thanks to Tomatoes, Ninja <laughs> Cap! Can't even believe oh that my happened. God. Okay, I, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was, I was so convinced that Germany had failed that push there. Um, and oh my, just really, what was going on there? Poland just needs to maybe just wake up a bit and keep an eye on their point. You know, you gotta you gotta watch out for those spies. Regardless, they they knew the they knew the point was really closely capped. They knew that you know they basically just had to sneeze on that point and it would you know that and that was it. And they just weren't paying attention to Mato able just to walk on there more or less for free and not even getting a kill. I do believe. I think he just walked on there. So you know, really. Um, Fault lying there with the awareness of the Polish defense team there. I still can't believe. It was just so insane. Poland was like defending it adamantly just for the entire time, and all it took was one spy for a brief second on the point for Germany to grab the, the first map. And which means we'll be moving into the second, and I do believe is PL upward, uh, which is going to be best of three, so we're still up for more Highlander action. Uh, and uh, well, this game being as long as it was, uh, definitely. Uh, players fatigue as well as ours will start coming <laughs> into play uh, but we're getting a little bit of a break here once again this is nation's cup poland versus germany currently germany is winning with one point uh scored here on um gollywash moving on to upward uh and we will meet with you shortly
Back, ladies and gentlemen, to Poland versus Germany Nations Cup 2017. My name is Jake. Today with me is Chando. Currently, Germany is winning with one point over Germany, scored on Golly Wash. But right now, we're going to do a little bit of a recap here with Chando. So, uh, well, let us know. I mean, what were the highlights of the last game? Why did Poland finally, in the end, lost? I mean, that was kind of ridiculous what happened there. Well, to begin with, we saw a, a very one-sided fight there on, uh, on mid. Uh, I don't even think Poland even took the high ground of Gullywash Middle there. Uh, basically, were confined to Big Door and a little bit on their sort of like, I call it Valley, just the, the little bit below the high ground. Um, they didn't get any space at all. They basically just pushed straight off. I think the Demilshman got a couple of good picks there. And they and uh, good aggression by Dreamy and Menti. Uh, just meant the Tertio just couldn't push up. They tried to commit to pushing onto Germany's side. And they were just completely shut off. And they were forced to back out. So, you know, instantly you had that disadvantage there. Followed up, you know, by um, getting more or less forced on second. Put, uh, put Poland right into last driving seat was all on Germany. They did fail their push, however, and we were just left with this very, very stale uh, fight here. Just, you know, you had Germany sitting so far back uh, in uh, in Big Door. So far back, in fact, that at one point they were actually capped uh, by the Polish scout. It actually was able to cap the second point um, before getting recapped uh, after he was killed. And, you know, after that, it was... Uh, a you know, bit of bit of back and forth fighting. Um, settled down for a stalemate again, and then he was just you know out of nowhere back cap from Demato. Uh, very clever play by him, in fact. You know, I, he went he went for, he seized the opportunity. One of the one of the only opportunities of actually uh, ending that game prematurely, because uh, you know that golden cap could have gone on for a lot longer if someone like a spy or you know, someone sneaky hadn't basically just sort of crept under the point and. Just said, I'm taking this point, and you know that's exactly what he did. Um, well played there. You know, ended it far, far quicker. Um, Poland really just never seizing an opportunity to uh, get out of last, and they were always, you know, playing defensively. Uh, really meant, really put Germany in the driving seat, and um, luckily, Demato seized on that very swiftly. And as such, uh, Germany did manage to secure themselves one point. Uh, on the scoreboard right now, we're on peel upward, and uh, well, seeing how both teams just kind of are very equally matched in skill, uh, it's going to be very difficult for me even to predict uh, which team could take the upper hand here. Uh, like I said before, Germany seems to be a bit more uh, uh, cohesive with their with their pushes, you know, kind of basing everything around um, Mars being the anchor of the team, uh, with uh, Menti uh, doing a little bit of uh, work as a flanker, um, uh, you know, with Dreamy actually doing quite a lot of work, but um, Polish team is basing their defense and offense mostly around Thazu and keeping him alive and safe, uh, which does work quite well as we did see the logs and he was leading with 19 kills, kills over Dreamy who was in second. Uh, so that's very, very significant um, well, point for, for Poland here to keep Thazu to just alive and up and running and just being in danger to the enemy team. Does it, yeah, really... Um... Really, the top player of this match was expecting Milchman to have the sniper superiority. To be honest, um, you know, former Premiership player for Tourette's Chess Club, uh, for Zoo also has you know played at the top. But I haven't, I haven't really seen him play um, in Premiership for some time now. Uh, I think he must have taken a year or so out of the game. So to see him coming back and still strong is uh, it, it's you know really quite a big deal. And you know, Milchman either maybe just rusty or maybe. The zoo is just absolutely nuts at the moment, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe Mushman needs to you know be you know waking up a bit more, maybe you know taking the zoo a bit more seriously, um, or maybe just adjusting his playstyle at the moment. We are currently waiting for both teams to ready up. This is uh, one of the few uh, server changes that uh, both teams had to make. Uh, I believe it's Poland who has some issues with some of the players not having the right the, the, the right routing for the server, as we do this complaining here on, on the chat, our internal chat as well. Uh, but uh, we should be getting ready for the game very shortly, um, as they're doing currently some breaks um, once again. So. Um, just gonna look at the um, the fixtures for the rest uh, of of the tournament here. Uh, like I said, we still are looking for a game between Belgium and Ukraine. 
uh, which it could go actually either way. Both teams have quite a lot of good players here. The Belgium definitely a lot more players in the Premiership uh, here with Zero Aoshi, Sunrise, uh, Spelly, um, well, being Premiership players here. Uh, we also have a game between Netherlands and Hungary. Uh, Netherlands, uh, is what I heard from uh, my own private sources, do quite a lot of uh, scrimming these days, and they are tryharding quite a lot. So we might see some upsets in that game, and obviously Russia versus Norway. Uh, so once again, two giants, uh, Norway having a lot of good players there, Russia as well. Yeah, I was I was uh, lucky enough to cast both of the Norway matches uh, between Finland actually twice, both in the Finland versus Norway um on steel and then the tiebreaker between them again on product and Norway uh, really proving themselves a huge power player uh, in this nation's cup which I wasn't initially expecting uh, their cohesion is really good and players like Andy have just been stepping up big time um, so that's definitely a game to be looking out for uh, you know I want to see Norway go far I was initially very skeptical that they would have any luck against Finland but uh, I was proved wrong twice in fact so uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a team to look out for. Uh, you might be seeing the next big players of Norway. So yeah, definitely, a, definitely big chance for them to you know get a maybe not the grand finals, but you know maybe make it into the quarterfinals. They may be able to contest against Russia. I mean, fingers crossed. Process. Uh, we are shortly getting ready to start this game. I got a heads up from Retooth again that we are live in 90 seconds in the future. Uh, so we have about 60 seconds left to talk about the strategies, and again, like, I mean, every single time I cast these games, it's usually either Badwater or Upward. Uh, we have a few exceptions, but uh, not much else to say about these maps. It's all down to uh, breaking the the meta. Like, there's been a set meta for a very, very long time on these maps, and uh, I've seen recently quite interesting takes on holding second uh, and third, and, and even last sometimes, but second is the biggest change with people kind of moving away from holding near spawn and rather holding on the little um, kind of hill, hilltop above the tunnels, uh, which has proved to be quite a good hold, but we are hearing both teams getting ready uh, and then it's going to be a setup time, We're looking at Koval, who is on the engineer class setting up her defenses. Yeah, definitely, with Poland defending first now and uh, going to be Seeing how they set up Bonkers suiciding. Um, suiciding, yeah, there we go, there we go. So, a fairly standard setup there. Nothing nothing too gimmicky from uh, it was Carwell. And uh, at this point now, just waiting to see what both uh, medics are running. Both look like they are just going to be running pretty standard. No uh, crits gimmicks just yet. Um, maybe in the future, though. Maybe in the future. I like how uh, Valve at some point changed the uh, uber building mechanics in spawn, where you just, in the setup time, you build way, way faster. Uh, back in the day, you, if you wanted to uh, kind of fool the spy uh, that you're using a different medigun, you actually had to work for it, you had to kind of count time in your head. Now we just switch in the last 10 seconds and you're still gonna get 100% charge. So um, it's definitely a bit different these days, but uh, I don't see medics use that all that often as the gates are going down right now. Uh, both teams getting ready to uh, well take the first kill off the game, uh, but looks like Germany still well just decided to just push the cart as far as they can before they actually do any sort of suicide jumps. Yeah, certainly just making sure that cart's in a good position before committing to anything because you know the the worst thing you can have in is you know you get a wipe and then the cart's all the way back there and just not enough as the suicide does come in. Ignis takes down Tommy, but uh, oh and they actually managed to get the force out from Grabber there. I think that was Ignis or Menti. Um, but yeah, that's a real good, fast and effective suicide wave for uh, the Germans. Graben now playing very passive, maybe just waiting to back out here. In fact, that, yeah, the sentry's already been moved out. The zoo gets picked off. Uh, Saga is going to go down. Uh, Ponton, though, trying to back out. Doesn't actually manage to get out with his life there. Bonkers also going down. And uh, yeah, wow. Not even... Uh, you know, the Germans didn't even really have to try that hard there. It was just an effective force, and the Polish were straight out there. They're even playing passive at the moment. Uh, the Germans now following up with real good aggression right now, as, you know, they've already taken the high ground here. They're already making their way into house, although a sticky trap from Tertio picks off Menti, and at this point now, maybe the Germans might have to slow it down. 
Uh, they do have that Uber, but the, oh, the Force comes out though. Uh, however, Tertio taking down Tea Time. Uh, this is all going to go on to Mars, uh, the slowest player of them all. And that Uber is going to be pretty much wasted there. Uh, he doesn't manage to take down Bonkers, but that's not going to be enough. Menti now come back up there. Tertio trying to play aggressively there, just jumps out and gets uh, demolished by those players on the on 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 the car. Good Girati there, forces Grabber takes down uh, Tommy Twenty Seven. Mars just picking off lots and lots there. Good aggression by the Germans now as they're already walking through there. Good force as well. <laughs> uh, Scout going down. This is just happening. Everything's happening so quickly. The moment Grabber caught out now gets picked off. Ponton probably going to go down as well. A very quick play. Oh, but T time actually taking down Graba there, uh, giving us another uber advantage. 100, full 100% charge there. Three people on the card at all times. This Blitzkrieg is doing uh, German team wonders, but looks like here Asa is getting forced out there by uh, the Pyro. Uh, your 30 man actually doing quite a little of work here for us, Steve. Slowing this a little bit down, but the cart is still being pushed all the way to the third point. Slowly but steadily, and Poland do not have much time and room to work with. Oh, the spies on the medic trying to shoot him down. He's on fire here, Grabba, but he may be able to stay alive. Uh, saving Terzi as well, moving to the top area. No, actually, here Germany is doing a lot of damage. Pont and Thaza going down both as well as Kiko. Uh, here Mars finally going down to Tommy, uh, stopping that German-Russian uh, heavy as um, they're slowly still moving. Third point has been capped by the team here. Germany still moving forward. Like I said, Blitzkrieg is full force on forward. And then, well, it's up to Poland whether they decide to stop it or where. I mean, yeah, it looks like they may have to slow down right now. You know, they managed to get a good few picks. Did the Polish and... Uh Cart now just getting uh, just getting pushed into the right position. Maybe if they commit to a commit to a fight, they grab her with full full uber advantage now. Asaj only on thirty percent as uh, Dreamy gets taken. Uh, not much chance of a German. Maybe looking at many putting uh, investing some effort into their into their pick classes. Uh, Thazu managing to take down Menti and Mars also going down. Uh, is going to put them in a bad position. Thazu going down by two to Milchman as Dreamy starting to play a bit more aggressive along with the Sarge. Uh, the Germans are now reconsolidating. Um, not enough to push off though, but uh, looking fairly comfortable for Poland to finally, finally managing to establish uh, some ground and some form of defense as they were just keep getting pushed back until they were finally able to stop that aggression and set up a, 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 a secure defense here. As uh, here, Polish team still has 100% super charge, but not play, not many players to use it on. Uh, here, Grab and Tercio are a little locked up top, but they did manage to pop very late after the blue Uber has faded. Uh, chasing down the combo out uh, here, um, Bonkers trying to find a medic out, but he cannot. Uh, here, Tercio actually getting ham or Tercio hamming Mars down to death. Uh, with the level three Sentry from Germany. By Saga is up and running in the window, doing so much damage, but he finally picks it up here. Tommy taking down Milchman with a headshot, chasing down the, the engineer. Uh, Ponton taking down Dreamy as well, trying to harass his medic. And looks like finally Poland is able to stabilize this push uh, with Asa a little bit of an advantage uh, over Graba right now. Um, and both teams are just trying to stabilize again. Uh, maybe take better spots here. Medic uh, with the heavy are uh, going all the way back to spawn, getting their uh, supplies refilled here for Poland. But look at this. Germany is pushing through the windows right now. 100% supercharged on Asa. He's not too scared about it. Um, pushing it with Mars and Menti, leading the charge there. Uh, level 3 sentry on the balcony, spamming them out. Uber has been popped, there's just no one there to fight. Uh, here, Mars only spamming, but from that far, Heavy is not doing, gonna do much work. But look at this, card is slowly being pushed. Is it gonna be oh. Yes, it is! Once again, Germany is using Poland's, well, lack of awareness and just pushes the point in, despite Poland having everything to defend it. Yeah, that was a... You know, I don't know why Poland were playing so far back there. Uh, I'm not sure whether they got picked off. I don't think they did. I didn't see it. I didn't see the kill feed uh, glowing up with Poland getting completely fragged there. But uh, it just looked like they were just giving Germany all the space they needed to secure that first round in only 5 minutes 18, which is a very respectable uh, fir uh, which is a very respectable time there to cap all the points. Um, Poland more or less going to have to steamroll this. Um, the only... You know, the only fault Germany had was slowing down a bit on the last push. So if, if Poland really want to uh, secure this first round, we're looking at a, basically a steamroll from start to finish right now. Um, 
and you know, honestly, not looking too promising for Poland. They're gonna have to pull some incredible cohesion and some good picks to secure this. They have to just reverse Blitzkrieg Germany is what it seems like because this has worked out very well for Germany. They had every single pick going at the right time. They constantly bled out players from Poland and it worked out very well for them. As uh, right now both teams are getting ready, looks like uh, there's going to be bonkers uh, with the scout here. Uh, Fiku going on the flank, waiting for some more overheals, jumping in, might be <clears throat> jumping on the point right now. Uh, losing voice there from all the cast. What a nice uh, pick there on Milchman. Uh, but uh, playing with his own life, Thousand taking down Dreamy as well, so that's two for two. Uh, pushing in forward, it's a little bit better for Poland, but that's there's a nice rocket! Oh, it's a Chris like you said! Oh my god, right now, Ponton is mowing now T-Time, but that's enough as uh, uh, New Team Germany are actually uh, managing, managing to survive. This Grabba's uh, getting away with his own uh, life, a lot of people for Poland are dead, but that's the Uber Charge Force uh, from Asa uh, getting completely surprised there uh, on top of those stairs. Yeah, that was a interesting crit play there. I would have maybe opted to spend a little bit of time trying to get the force first and then use the crits. Um, I felt like Germany was maybe way too aware that they were using crits. They were playing very aggressive as one would um, if you knew that the other team was about to pop a crits there. You know, you want to be playing up close, ready to use that uber just so that you know you can start going into them. That's exactly what Germany did there. Um, however, yeah, as you say, Grabber got out with his life there. They're gonna have a. Nah, basically no uber advantage there so you know nothing really to go off at the moment uh, Ponton going down however uh, Kowal as well good plays there the Chris engine does get popped out though very ineffective as Grabber goes down Dreamy just on the back line absolutely nothing at the moment and you know Poland just gonna have to back up again you know the crits clearly not working only three minutes 46 seconds left at the moment and not even a, not even a dent into the first push very yeah. very weak performance here for Poland Dreamy there. Oh, no way. Did you just see that? As Milchman with a double kill on oh, the and Grubba all together. It's absolutely insane. Buying his team even more time with that one. That is something that you never see happen ever. And I do believe this is the first time the combo just gets completely annihilated by one bullet. But here it goes. Slows down Poland to a crawl here. Asa only on 70%. The grab on 25. Building his crit streak once again. He still sticks on that medigun. He doesn't have much choice. No, actually, it's a vaccinator. Switching it up again. Here, Domato trying to cause some trouble in the back line. Slowing down the car, but looks like Germany has decided uh, to move back with three minutes left on the clock. They do have a lot of time to work with here, and they are not really threatened by Polish aggression. Mars trying to get some nice pipes uh, or rockets onto the medic, but it's not enough here. Um, actually, Asa 100% Uber Grab a 100% Vaccinator. Not quite the same, but still quite useful uh, as they're moving slowly but steadily towards uh, the point here. Um, here, Kart standing still, uh, moving through the. Um, through the tunnels there, uh, doing some spam on the enemy team, and well, they have to push it to the right spot before they actually decide to push. Otherwise, this push will be kind of wasteful. Absolutely, and if there's one thing that I think the Polish have have uh, have, have learned is that Vax is working really well for them. Um, it worked well on uh, on Galiwash more or less uh, on those on those defenses, and now more or less a gimmick player Sarge playing uh, more or less by himself, only with tea time. Uh, under point and is just gonna use his uber and back up there uh, I'm not really sure what was going on there but it seemed to work as the car stopped moving now and a good setup now from uh, Germany is more or less gonna stop there as a dr as, as grabber actually gets picked off there by Demato good stab wasn't a drop but you know really good nonetheless uh, looks like Poland very eager to get in there Mars and tea time both getting taken down uh, Ponton playing under the point now as the as Underpoint is more or less free, uh, only getting guarded by Demilchman, who looks like he's going to go in for the pick there. Menti following up. For Zoo taking down Demilchman, however, uh, however, getting picked off by Dreamy. Ignis taking down Tertio. More or less now just playing for uh, DM and for good logs at this point, I do believe. I don't think this is even uh, doable for Poland at this point. This is uh, only 120 seconds to go, and even if they had full force ahead, full steam on that card, it would not be enough time to push last. And we have German's ferocity right now, the excellent century level 3 spot by Saga. I don't think they will be able. Asa's about to hit his 100% uber charge Domato. Nice kill there on Thazo. Very important. Freeing up a lot of space. Uh, Pond getting caught out as well by Domato. Dreamy following up on Tommy. Milchman actually taking on Grubba again. Slowing it down even more. I don't think you can go any any slower than that. You know, at this point, you <laughs> might as well just go back, and that's what Germany is doing. Oh my 
god, once again, Milchman taking down Kowal with a, with a uh, collateral there or someone else. Mishman taking down Fat Thousand as well. Well, he's working now on those logs. 30 seconds to go, and like you said before, this is right now for the logs. Germany has absolutely annihilated Poland on this map. Poland has absolutely no uh, response to what they're doing in the first round, and now they're just kind of bleeding out players and dying over again. Uh, very, very bad performance here for Polish team, and I'm sad to see that. Yeah, as you were saying um, earlier, before the game started, in the predictions, <clears throat> some real... You're saying how good the Germans might have with their cohesion, and uh, they certainly uh, showed that in this game here. Very good follow-up and good aggression uh, on picks. Uh, you know, Poland, you know, really, their overall fault was maybe that first force on the first point, and Germany just stormed their way from the first point to the last point in a matter of minutes. Um, you know, that's some good aggression, good follow-up, and good cohesion from uh, Germany and we, the, and the same wasn't mirrored by Poland there you you know you weren't seeing uh, any forces and um, and it cost them yeah it, it, it cost them big time and now um, Germany taking the first point here uh, if Germany wins one more that is it Poland is out um, after losing a two, uh, after losing in the golden cap on gully wash uh, yeah they have got everything to play for at this point Every round matters now. Germany very much in the driving seat right now, ladies and gentlemen, as, you know, they basically just have to secure one more round to push themselves into the quarterfinals of the Highlander Nations Cup. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the logs right now. Um, and there's not much to see there. Not that many kills as the, the game was incredibly close. Uh, we're in setup time. We still have a little bit of time to uh, discuss it. Domato with 16 kills. First a spot. Dreamy, Milchman second and third. Fazo is all the way in the fifth with only 11 kills. Uh, first four spots on the top killing list belong to Germany and rightfully so. They were on top of this game the entire time. Uh, looking at the medics as well, Asa has about 3,000 more healing than Graba and you know saying that it is a very it was a very short game uh, that's kind of significant having over like 3,000 uh, healing. And I'm looking for the deaths here. Asa only actually dying once in this game and uh, that was i do believe to uh let's just check it check it out to ponta no it was uh, to ferryman which is the pyro uh on the other hand grabba died seven times uh, pretty much all of them were in the last round where they tried to push but this time poland's looking at the retribution uh they have the chance once again to push it out of the spawn and hopefully so and uh, they will be able to prevail this because like you said before if if they lose this, they're out. I mean, Germany goes fourth to the quarter quarterfinals, and Poland unfortunately will have to wave goodbye the chance to uh, take uh, Nations Cup this year, hopefully, and the years to come. But this the game is not over yet. As uh, we have thirty seconds of setup left, that's left of setup, and uh, well, Germany is in standard spot here. Saga, not taking any risks. Yeah, it's a fairly standard setup again. I guess they're just going to play it safe right now. And, uh, you know, they, they can be fairly confident in this. They don't have to uh, be too worried. You know, they, even if they lose this round, uh, it will go to a uh, golden cap. And even if they lose that round, there's still, uh, there's still a whole other map. So, staying fairly comfortably. An early pick there by Demilchman. Onto Bonkers. Collateral once again, just showing, ha just showing off the power of the Machina. Uh, Tertio getting stabbed there by Demato. And uh, at this point, maybe just the Polish just... Um, trying to put the cart in, in the right position before committing to anything. Uh, Tommy managing to pick down Menti could be a very valuable pick there. Bomb comes in from Bonkers, uh, doesn't doesn't get anything as he picks off by Mars. And uh, other than Menti going down, he is going to respawn in only seven seconds. Probably not enough time for the Polish to actually coordinate any form of push there. Uh, Ponton playing rather aggressive there on that hill, uh, just putting out some average damage there as he you know it's just pretty normal stuff grabber now going to be coming out into the fight a little bit the girati comes in they're gonna have to back up a little bit as the polish combo gets uh girati pretty badly and yeah getting fairly ready, yeah. fairly slow they're getting ready to push right now though they all have they have people in the right places they are right now on the card slowly pushing it in with punt and leading in charge there uh, actually, uh, here Kowal and uh, Tercio taking down Dreamy and Ignis, respectively going in. Ubercharge has been popped on both sides, a little bit slower on Graba, but they still have that uh, defense in terms of a cart. Level 3 sentry still up and running, still doing a lot of damage, getting zapped back by Saga just in the last second before it dies. 
still having Mars up there, taking down the teleporter as well. And finally, in 1 minute and 30 seconds, Poland managed to push the first point. Uh, they will be looking at a much, much faster time to push a second, third, and fourth, respectively. But right now, they're just going in. Right now, Bonkers scout scouting some more nice pipes there and, and stakes by the Demo Man jumping away in the last second here. Bonkers taking down Milchman, though, for his troubles. Finally getting cleaned up by Dreamy, taking down the double uh, with a Thazo kill. Uh, they're slowly moving in forward. They don't have the Uber Charge getting spammed out. Her grab on 70%, us only 25, but they're moving into the window. They may be able to get it in time as the cart is uh, actually still being pushed quite fast by Kfiku. Um, and it looks like Germany is holding on to that last point here near the spawn level. Three centuries still up. Graba has 100% losing Kowal there, but that's not a huge deal as they're pushing in. Uh, Cart's currently being uh, focused here by Kfiku using the uh, Bonk Atomic Punch. And Graba, I don't know what he's waiting for. Oh, and that's oh. what happens when you wait so long. Relshman taking down the kill. Actually dropping uh, Graba there, giving Asa quite a lot of time, but Card is going to get pushed here only the middle, blocking finally. Without the Uber Charge, they managed to prevail, uh, but the Uber and the damage has been done there by Milchman. Yeah, that was an interesting decision there by Graba, just sort of standing there, clearly in a sideline. And uh, maybe he's just, just used it, I don't know what they were waiting for, they could have started off the steamroll that was much needed. Um, you know, and they just, they just didn't, they were just sitting there waiting around and... Um, I don't know, that was a questionable performance there, but nonetheless, uh, they're going to be regrouping now, fairly eager to push in, they are going to be pushing up that trench line, and um, going to have to stop a little bit as the Uber is used by Germany, um, and yeah, they're going to have, that's a fairly good position now for Poland, uh, grab and not going down, now holding around a 30% advantage there, uh, it's going to give him a fairly decent driving seat in this next push, Menti getting killed by Tommy and Tertiary taking down Mars as well. In fact, they're just going to maybe go for the straight up dry push there. The zoo gets sniped, but Demilchman now going to have to back out. Actually, no, he's not. He's, he's holding there. He does have to pick off Bonkers as well, just picking off those players uh, on the cart. Has, ooh, Demato trying to get picks on the cart there, uh, but he is not. And it looks like the cart is going to be capped there. Tommy 27 just going huge, takes down a Sarge and Demilchman. Uh, Ponton following up as well. And wow, like now Germany with only four players up. Uh, Poland now just walking straight yeah. in there. Uber is used, flashed onto Ponton, who's just playing up top, takes down the sentry. Uh, Mars now caught out a little bit. He's going to try and back away into spawn. Uh, Ignis trying to go for the bomb there, but does get picked off now by Ponton. Uh, however, Ponton gets stabbed by Demato Tertia, also going down. The Polish combo now rather fractured. Maybe going to have to slow down a bit. However, the cart's still getting crawled in. Like, uh, Grabber still, is still alive, still healing. And if they can just take down Mars now, it's get a lot of damage going onto him. Uh, nah, he is actually going to uh, be able to survive for now. Um, sneak, getting snet capped there by Kowal. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, looks like it's going to be slowed down to a halt. Real good aggression though. What a performance by Poland. Yeah, definitely. Tommy's cold steel between the shoulder blades was enough to secure them. Uh, such a good position right now. Both medics on similar uber charges here. Uh, Grabba is taking quite a lot of damage here. 60 HP and 100%. He might be able to survive this and he will. Uh, taking down the sandwich there. Uh, and they are currently holding onto the staircase here. Waiting for a good opportunity to push. Uh, we have two people down for the Germany team for the next 6 seconds. Might be a good opportunity to push in here. Tomato is actually getting cleaned up here by, uh, by uh, Bonkers. Um, and there's Uber Port Charge has been popped by both teams, exchanged in the staircase, uh, exchanging quite a lot of damage, but decided just to leave it. There's no one else gonna, you know, kill themselves, and all the teams are in the vulnerable. As a Ponton is currently just pushing in by himself, trying to get some more damage done on the other team, but that's not gonna be enough as the Germany team is still holding onto that top area. What a nice kill there by T Time uh, with the flare gun. Ignis taking down Cole as well, but look at this again, card very close to the, spa uh, to, the <laughs> to the point here. Once again, the central oh, level three on oh, the balcony. Oh. Balcony. So Balcony is still being occupied at level 3 and still making sure no one's gonna sneak cap it back like you saw just in a second ago. Uh, both medics once again on 50% uber charge. Thazla getting over here looking for some uh, sight lines. They're not gonna be enough. A few people exchange their bunker starts to pound and go down in that exchange here. Uh, and looks like Germany is still controlling the situation albeit by a sliver. Yeah, uh, maybe Poland maybe just needs to be focusing on just regrouping there. Seems like they're just pushing in fairly um, inconsistently and fractured pushes just aren't going to be working out. Uh, Grabber now, small advantage, maybe not enough to go off, uh, although they are pretty keen to get in there. Uh, Tertia getting picked off by Saga Sentry and the Uber is going to go on to Ponton there. 
Uh, not going to be enough. The Uber is countered uh, onto Mars, who now has the high ground just sitting comfortably up there. He's going to rain down above onto Ponton as the Uber uh, fades for Poland. And yeah, that's a pretty, pretty disastrous push there. Uh, losing your entire combo and no real space taken. Uh, high ground remains for Germany. And now uh, Germany is just going to be able to con uh, just go consolidate on that high ground. And Poland's going to have to play back a little bit. Look at this. Uh, Terzo actually, actually taking down Asa there Ooh. on the top. Uh, which means uh, not a lot of healing going on for the Germany team. They're chasing down uh, remaining people. Only three people up right now for Germany. Getting some response there. But this is the prime time for Poland to push. That level 3 century is the last thing holding uh, Poland back from pushing this card in. A lot of sticky traps lying on the card as well. Fazl taking in a kill on Milchman, freeing up a lot of room again for his team. Grab about his 100% charge. Might need to be careful there, taking quite a lot of damage. Uh, going in there, a lot of spam going down. Taking down Kfiku, taking down Ferryman. Uh, Sentry was well, still up. And Saga is doing so much work for his team right now, keeping the trenches of Germany uh, alive, well, and supplied. Uh, with Poland just bashing their heads against the wall at the moment. 100% uber charge there. Us only on 40. This is prime time. Thousand once again, freeing up a lot of room for me. taking down Milchman. Manti taking down Kowal, though. Uber charge has been popped. Uh, leading with the demo. Finally, this century going down after such a long time. Pushing the cart and trying to do, do it, but oh, so much damage being done by Menti and Dreamy, making sure that this cart stays in the place. Oh my lord. Menti still... Uh, Menti and the, and the German combo just holding that high ground and just completely um, nullified the Polish push there. You know, yes, they just used the Uber. Yes, they had the advantage, but they didn't use it effectively. They really maybe should have opted to push upper, uh, maybe take the high ground with that Uber and then then commit to the push because until you've taken that high ground uh, it's just too easy for the demo just to spam you out on the car as, and that's exactly what just happened Jake you know Menti just now on a seven kill streak uh, just due to the fact that he's just putting out spam onto that car and uh, no one's really focusing me either here Asa was 100% uber charge Graba only on 70 uh, entire Germany team is actually holding there uh, finishing of Tercio uh, quite important there, slowing down Poland even more so. Uh, they did cap three points quite fast, but uh, the last one is proving to be very difficult to push for Polish team. Uh, Germany, uh, while well, having all the people in the right places and the Uber charge up there in the windows, gonna be very difficult the next push unless they try something really sneaky and cheeky. Uh, Tommy there scouting out for his team. Uh, actually, Menti T time going down there. Uber has been a pop, not not just yet. Menti is still up, popping in the last second, but dropping all his combo. Getting controlled by the pirate right now. Ferryman is chasing him down. Maybe able to finish him off as the cart is still not being pushed entirely. Pyro having so much trouble taking the medic down. And Ferryman is actually losing the kill onto the medic. But cart is being pushed slowly but steadily. Oh, there. Try T time. Try to do it. But the cart is, is definitely going to get pushed. And 9 minutes and 37 seconds is the time for Polish team. Uh, Germany will try to beat that one. Uh, in the next round and like you said before I mean this is the last chance for Poland to stay in the cup uh, if they lose this point they're out and Germany moves on to quarterfinals yeah not not a terrible push uh, not a terrible time there by Poland by all means uh, however when you compare it to Germany's well, I believe it was around like five minutes 13 or something like that um, you know it, it, it's 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 almost double and you know, maybe if Germany can uh, can replicate what they did in the first round, then there is not a hope for Poland. However, if Poland can, you know, maybe hold a bit more confidently, maybe not get forced on this first bit and not allow Germany to uh, not allow Germany to start a steamroll, then you know they certainly have what it takes to defend this. Nine minutes thirty-seven seconds is easily defendable. Uh, so every every chance for Poland, still every chance for Germany. Here we go. Both teams getting ready 10 seconds to go and this time Poland defending Germany attacking last chance for Poland to stay in the cup in a long time and long game with golly wash uh, Germany finally winning in the first kill going on to tea time by Fazu showing what he's made of here Mills from a very aggressive spot may be able to spot and Fazu out no Fazu is on the other sideline here they are just looking in the outlines right now taking a shot onto the combo missing it uh, here uh, right now, Poland is holding on defensively. Oh, Domato trying to stab the medic. He's getting the health back though, but he's finally getting it. He oh. actually takes him down with 
the revolver with the <laughs> Tiki. This Letranger revolver actually. Taking down the medic, dropping him as a result. Rabba did not expect that to happen, and this time Asa has 100% uber charge. Looking at a, a well reprising this situation from the first round here with Germany having everything going their way. Yeah, and uh, along with the medic drop, also Menti doing a high bomb, focus down the uh, focus on the sentry, but another pick by by Demeter onto Grabber takes uh, you know, just completely nullifies any heals on this point now, and this is the perfect opportunity for Germany to start steamrolling at this at, at this moment. Hey, you know, uh, Poland just in complete pieces currently. Grabber needs to put it together and. I don't know where they're going to be setting up. They might be looking at just a really passive second hold here. Germany actually haven't really pushed the car that far. And uh, as we speak, you know, they are currently just, you know, just hogging onto that car, um, getting ready to push in from under. And it looks like Poland is going to be forced to set up passively on second. Uh, no chance. Although, uh, Grabber playing very aggressive in that uh, connector. Oh. Uh, it's going to get picked off by Ignis, along with Ponton and Ferryman. Tertia also going down. Um, that being said, a lot of the German team going down as well. Uh, Assage getting away with his life, but Saga, Mars, Menti, Tea Time, I believe Ignis as well, all falling as well. A very back and forth match there, but more or less a wipe for Poland now uh, as the central also goes down. Only Kowal up, and if they can times three this, oh. you know, Poland gonna have to just sit. Oh, there it is. Kowal goes down as well. Look at that. That Letranger, hey man. Domato is just using this revolver and just taking the second kill. Such an important one, too. I mean, Koa was carrying his level 3 sentry up back to the spawn, and second point right now belongs to Germany. Uh, having about, well, equal Ubers there. Uh, quite an aggressive spot uh, holding. Oh, but there's Ignis trying to get some damage done. Uh, getting cleaned up by Ponten, but Ponten paying with his life as well, too. Uh, Menti there. A lot of damage getting exchanged here. Tommy uh, sinking that steel blade between shoulder blades of uh, Asajj. There's a lot, there's a lot of uh, exchange kills onto the Polish team. Grabba still up and running, still alive and running away. Uh, having that Uber charge may be very valuable on the third point, but uh, Germany is still pushing very quickly this cart. And there's a lot of people on it right now waiting for Asa to reunite with them. As well as Poland is waiting for the response level. Two sentry is right now being uh, built up by Kowal. Might be very important for this third push as this third point is uh, quite difficult to push as well. Absolutely. And uh, that, that that being said, um, Germany already taking up the trench line there. Uh, putting in a lot of space, putting in a lot of damage. Mars going down to uh, the Polish scout. The Uber is used. Uh, not particularly effectively used very far away and only on tertio doesn't look like they're going to be able to, to get the medic uh for zoo managing to take down tea time that's a good pick but not the best as uh he pays for his life to milchman getting the counter onto him and at this point now uh, poland playing fairly passive as sarge now with 90 percent uber he is going to be more or less in the driving seat here ready to push this you can see the german combat now pushing up trent uber's used off uh, onto Menti, he gets flung into the air though. Uh, is he going to get caught out? No, he's not. He managed to take down the sentry as well, and that's the cap now. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes for you remaining. Sorry, for Germany to cap this last point. Um, a lot of players up, however, for Poland, and it looks like they're going to be taking this top spot. Menti goes down. Uh, maybe a little bit too aggressive. A little bit too um, uh, eager there as Ponton manages to uh, minigun him down now and it looks like they're going to try and set up on top I don't know where Grabber is at the moment but uh, Germany doing their best at just walking straight in fact in fact Grabber and Tertio using <laughs> using the Uber trying to ham Mars but uh, he's he's having none of it uh, Grabber now he's actually not going to be able to play top I don't know where he is he's playing way far back nowhere near his combo manages <laughs> uh, he gets sniped though oh, no. by the Milchman and Ferryman also going down to Dreamy uh, and this is just absolutely devastating for Poland. This is looking like a wrap-up. Oh, Tommy trying to go for the play, but he doesn't manage to get it. All he gets is Mars. Uh, Dreamy, however, going down. Tertio getting stabbed by Demato. Ponton as well. Uh, Menti taking down all sorts. Demato also Latrondering. Oh, Ferry trying his best. Oh, the, U actually, the Uber comes Ooh. out, however. Maybe. Maybe they can do something. Oh, my being has used, here. Poland has used everything they've got to hold, make this, well, stop, but Germany is unwavering, winning over Poland this time. Uh, Poland, fortunately, getting knocked out of the playoffs. Uh, Germany moving on to the quarterfinals. Uh, will be playing their next opponent soon. Uh, but, yeah, I mean...
kind of kind of weird to see that. I mean, Gollywash was so equal. Uh, Germany just winning by the skin of the teeth. And going to upward here, Germany is just taking complete control over the game, getting right picks, right positioning, and Poland just crumbling and crushing under the pressure. Absolutely. You can see which team has the better synergy, certainly. Um, on Gullywash, you know, uh, a lot of it can fall down to DM, and Poland definitely has that DM. They have a lot of good players. Tertio really proving himself to be a very powerful demo man in the current scene, um, uh, along with Menti as well. However, when it comes to that cohesion, uh, Germany, you can tell they've been scrimming a lot more. You can tell that they've been, um, you know, they're more eager to play as a team and maybe a bit more communicative um, <clears throat> between one another. And... On a map like Upward, that's where it pays off. That's where, you know, you can really start breaking in some good times. We saw some incredible times, both basically five-minute pushes, I do believe. Um, yeah, fully deserved by Germany. Real good cohesion and aggression there. The logs for the last time, for the, from the last game here, Thazu leading the charge with 20, on par with Menti. Uh, and Thousand once again winning the uh, sniper battles between Milchman. Um, actually, no, the other way around. Milchman taking eight kills over Thousand, Thousand four kills over Milchman. Uh, but getting one more kill than Milchman, and uh, definitely more more controlled there uh, by Germany team. And then obviously have Menti, Milchman, and Dreamy second, third, and fourth place respectively. Uh, very close in terms of uh, amount of kills uh, when it comes to damage. However, uh, Menti leading the charge with nine thousand. Second one being Milchman with. 6,000, so definitely doing a lot of work here for his team, Menti, um, and being this anchor on upward, so important for the Germany. Yeah, that's some really good damage output there by Menti there, 528 DPM, really good to see that, um, leaks ahead of almost any other player there currently, um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, Fazu also, as you said, uh, good damage. Uh, good kills as, as well, along with Milchman, you know, these are the players we kind of expected, uh, nothing really too shocking here, um, but yeah, I think that pretty much about wraps it up, so if you've got anything else to sort of say on this, uh, Jake, now's the time. Well, there's definitely more games coming up. We're not just quite done yet, uh, there's still quarterfinals, half, well, half semifinals and uh, the grand finals themselves, so we're still up for a few weeks more of Highlander Action Nations Cup. Uh, next week we're going to be looking at, well, people who just won these games. Germany be, will be among of them. Um, as well for me and uh, for our casting desk here, I do believe we just wrap this up. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. It's been a long game, too. About two hours so uh, definitely a lot of action going on. Shout outs to all the players. Definitely Thazel showing what he's made of, uh, making well causing a lot of trouble for the Germany team. So for me, kind of the MVP of the game. But we will not see unfortunately him anymore in the cup itself. However, uh, we'll be still be looking at more players to come and show their skill before the next season of Highlander starts, as it is actually soon, according to ETF12 News. But that will be it for me. Uh, well, my name is Jake Kowati. Today with me was Chando in the casting desk. It was a pleasure, as always. We'd hooved on the camera. Uh, this man is a machine, uh, just doing all the work behind the scenes. But um, definitely stay tuned for more Highlander action. See you guys later.